This will be a long video with a lot of upcoming content. So, a lot to cover in this video. It is four weeks ago, or even a little bit more, that I uploaded my last video. And in the meantime, I got a lot of stuff in from Blade Show 2017, from Blade Stock, and some other purchases. So, very much to cover, and it's not even all that's laying in front of me. So let's clean this thing, this stuff up. Let's clean it up and start with a few of these new purchases. Welcome to my channel. My name is Henk. Blade Show 2017. I met Mr. Lee Young Ma. And first he paid me a visit while I was working at the Wii boot and he asked if I could come over to his boot he was sharing his boot with David Deng from Riyad Knives so later on I paid him a visit with uh, accompanied by Joe the owner of Wii Knife and we had a very nice conversation Mr. Leon Ma is a very nice guy, very open, very easy to approach, very communicative and he is well known in the knife community for his designs, his own mid tags made by Riyadh but also his designs for other companies like CRKT, one of his most well-known designs I think is the GSD, the get stuff done or get shit done but we were just conversating and Mr. Leon Ma told me he wants to get more exposure for the European market and he asked me if I could organize some pass rounds so he handed me a couple of his knives he didn't have much left because he almost was sold out at Blade Show. It was the second day of Blade Show when I visited him. And in front of me are some of his knives. I was a little bit worried because I couldn't take... I got a lot of knives at Blade Show and I couldn't take them with my luggage. So I had to ship them. A good friend of me, my colleague at Wee Knife uh, from the channel Zelrick. He took them with him, all the knives I, uh, from Blade Show, he took them with me to ship them to me and the shipping period took a long time, longer than average and I became to get worried if they would made it because it was a box full uh, and with, an, with a very high value but one day before Bladestock 2017, Bladestock is the European knife and gear gathering. The, it was the 1st and 2nd of July, so two weeks ago. So two weeks ago I got the, the knives from Blade Show in, finally. So, just a preview of upcoming content. For example, these two variations of the Mittag variants of the GSD so not the CRKT knives but the Mittag made by Riyadh for Mr. Leong Ma very nice EDCable size very nice features and these will be going on a pass around very soon and watch my channel for some upcoming content review content of these knives then the endeavor two varieties again the stone wash and the polished variant 
very big very nice keep an eye on the channel for the upcoming reviews and for the pass rounds and then this one is by far my favorite I like these but this is my favorite the KUF or the kitchen kitchen utility folder awesome knife big knife great ergos for using as a slicer cutter in the kitchen and then at least final uh, the last one is the warrior this is the warrior one size wise I like the warrior 2 a lot more but it's exactly the same knife and the warrior one I think for most people is the preferable size and then the spinners from Mr. Leonwa so keep an eye on YouTube for reviews European reviews for these knives and spinners then I also talked with Sam from Hea Designs Sam is a young guy an upcoming designer he makes great designs he makes beads he makes hankies this is one of his hankies very nice or bandana whatever you want to call it but he also sent me two of his knives two of his newest designs of course he got a great exposure with his first design I think it was his first design the Equilibrium very hard to pronounce for me and just now and, and then he came with the saber tooth, the, the beard comb and because a lot of people requested it he made also a knife variety of the saber tooth and this is the antidote so the knife implementation iteration of the saber tooth gorgeous little knife with a lot of nice features these are made by Wii knives and then the counter uh, part the poison so the poison and the antidote awesome little knives and great action I never seen a flipper with an action like this and the same for Hea designs very well known in the United States but not so much exposure in Europe so Sam asked me to do uh, to, to create some exposure for him as well in Europe so these will go on a pass around as well the antidote and the poison and just keep an eye on my channel for the upcoming reviews a new company uh, which contacted me best tech knives from China they introduced two new models this one was a mass drop deal I think two months ago but and I ordered the two color variations on the mass drop deal not knowing that best tech knives approached me a week later and asked me if I would uh, could do some promotional work for them as well in Europe so they sent me a couple of samples these two models I will do reviews of these very soon I had three uh, three samples but I had to give one sample with a German uh, reseller I was talking to at Bladestock 2017 the European knife and gear gathering and they really wanted to take one of the samples with him because they are probably going to sell these 
for the German market. Best Tech Knives, new company, but very good quality knives. S35 VN, titanium, uh, I think comparable with Kaiser, but with some more exciting designs I think. I am talking right now with a Dutch dealer as well and with a wholesaler so they will probably come to the European market very very soon. Keep an eye on my channel for the upcoming content and of course these will go on a pass around as well. Then working for Wee Knife Working at the Wii Knife boot at Blade Show 2017, I had a great time. It was very, very busy. I met a lot of nice people, uh, a lot of new contacts, friends, and so on. And of course, I had to take some uh, prototypes, which will be available somewhere this year or maybe the beginning of next year. I cannot show everything. Some of these are already uh, showed at the channel of my USA colleague Zelrik. It's not only a colleague, it's just a good friend. Uh, I will put a link in the description box to the channel of Zelrik because he has a lot of very good content on his channel. Not only Wii knives, but also a lot of other brands like Spyderco. Zero tolerance, uh, a lot of nice content. So, these prototypes will be subject of reviews as well in the upcoming period. For example, this one will be available very soon in a few color variations. This is a new Simon Crafts design. He already did the 615 and the 616. The Cirrus and the... I forgot the other name. So this will be uh, another design of Simon Crafts. Then this one will be coming very soon. This is also coming in a lot of color variations. This is the purple color. I think this will be a very... Um, Either you love it, either you hate it. This will be a controversial model, but I like it very much. Then this one is more in the line of the 61, the 606 and the 613 with the stunning, well-known special Wii grind. I love this one, a large but very light tactical EDC utility knife some thumb studs only not a flipper so this will be a very nice one and by far my favorite this one I love it this is such a gorgeous knife so keep an eye on my channel for the upcoming content I don't know when I have time to do videos on these but they will come and they also will go on a pass around the Wii prototypes and then I met uh, Mark at Blade Show from the brother of Todd Beck I met him before for example at Iwa and I think I showed this before, but I never did a review. This one I got at Blade Show from Todd Beck Steelcraft series. This is the Louis Vuitton iteration of the Glimpse. Uh, I got a great deal on it from Mark because, uh, well, so this will be subject of a review. And then this one I didn't get on Blade Show, but because I was showing this one, this one I bought I think maybe three months ago, but it only arrived 
two or three weeks ago. This is the Field Marshal of the Steelcraft series of Todd Beck. This one is made by Riyadh Knives and the Glimpse is made by We Knives. So stay tuned for upcoming content and for pass rounds. Then this one I also bought I think three months ago. It only arrived a few weeks ago with the Field Marshal. This is the all black variation of the three Zero Tolerance 392 series. The limited production Midtex I think they call it. I forgot. Anyway, I don't know if I will do a video of this one because I think there are a lot of videos, enough videos of the three 0392 series, but I just wanted to show it. Then these I got at Bladestock. 2017 Bladestock was a very nice gathering uh, in the Netherlands, a European gathering in the Netherlands, two weeks ago. The weekend of July the 1st and the 2nd and a lot of people showed up despite the bad weather and this knife this traditional knife I got from a visitor he wanted to thank me so I'm very happy with this traditional knife I like it it is used and carried and it has a lot of soul so I'm very grateful to that I got this knife and I will carry it for sure this one I purchased from LX Knives, Alexander, a Dutch knife maker. And this one is made out of a horse file, horseshoe file, a very small EDCable knife. I like it very much because of the useful shape. One thing I like a little less that's the sharp point, but I can do something about it. And but I like the style very much and it comes with a very very nice sheet. So LX knives. I will put a link in the description box to his Etsy shop. He might, makes very nice stuff. Alexander, thank you very much. This one I bought from a Belgian knife maker, Luc, Luc Deals. He has a YouTube channel as well, DLC Knives. I will put a link in the description box to his channel as well. And he makes some nice stuff. He's a very young knife maker, but he's improving so fast. He makes awesome stuff. And because I like the small fixed knives, also very much to carry in my EDC kit I wanted this one as well very nice maybe I do a video on this one as well I don't know if I have the time but I just wanted to show and then I got me a traditional great eastern cutlery this one I purchased from Tools for Gents, the German reseller at Blaystock. And this is the oh sorry TDUT TIDUT mod model. Two blades with bone, amber bone, very nice worn cliff and the clip point. I like it very much. Very nice walk and talk. Maybe I do a video on this one as well, but I don't know if I have the time. But I wanted to show the nice amber jig bone. Very nice. Bolsters. Good fit and finish. Tools for gents. I will put a link in the description box to them as well. So these were my purchases at blade stock and I almost forgot I got this lanyard with bead and this 
copper shield and these are made by Ronald. Ronald is a Dutch guy, a knife enthusiastic. He has a very nice Instagram channel. I will put a link to his Instagram channel and he makes handcrafted things like beads. Uh, I think half half a year ago I showed a lanyard with a bullet bead made by him. He makes awesome stuff and he also made these blade stock 2017 shields. And Ronald, I thank you very much for this. And I think this will be collector's items, the blade stock shields. He made, I think he made 20 or 25 pieces of them. Maybe he has some available, but if you want one, you have to be quick. And then next year, I hope he will make the 2018 variety. Blade stock purchases. And then some other purchases. Of course, I already did a video on the Elijah Asham design Kaiser Megatherium, but that was the one with the carbon fiber inlay and the polished titanium. And I also wanted the black variety, so I finally got it. It was handed over at Bladestock as well by Dutch retailer Messenzo. And because I was at Blade Show, he was at Blade Show, he also had a holiday. It took a little bit longer, but I got it the black Megatherium. This is my favorite. Then, I of, of course, I showed the Kaiser Nomad, the original one that came last year, and then the purple anodized one I showed a few months ago and I also I decided I also wanted the all gray variety so now I have all three varieties and with this one I think you can do a lot of fun things so the Nomad one of my favorite designs of Kaiser then this one I'm very happy I'm already looking for years for a Kershaw tilt but actually I'm looking for the whole black variety but it's very hard to get one and so this one I saw at the forum in the U United Kingdom and I decided I would take it. It's not in a mint condition but it's in a very good use condition. Only the edge has been, it is very sharp, the edge has been sharpened but it's not a very very neat job. But the cursor tilts and the search continues for the all black variety. Then I saw these two offered at the Dutch forum the CRKT BT17, a Bob Terzuola tribute and the vintage Gerber Applegate Farm Burn, Fair Barn, Fair Burn. This one I owned before I sold it and I got another one and I sold it and the last time I sold it I was very sorry because of the nice tactical design. Uh, this was from the time Gerber made very good knives. So I'm glad I have it back, the Applegate Fairburn. Uh, and this one because I like the Tento. Uh, and the Bob Terzuela design. I decided I would take this as well. It's not a very high quality steel. It's HCR MOV 13 I think. But I like the design very much. And 
it will fit in my vintage sub collection so very happy with these two then this one I buy a lot of knives for friends from Europe in the United States because I have friends in the United States which will collect for me gather and then uh, ship when the box is full and the Warthog a limited edition or a special edition from Victorinox uh, a good German friend of me Phil asked me if I could order one and because I like the design very much look at this very well done I decided to order one for myself as well so the Victorinox Warthog with a lot of tools I don't know if I will do a video on this I think I will not do videos on any of these knives unless you request it but the Warthog so I think that's all for today and then I almost forgot I want to show this one of course I already have this in my possession for a long time but this is the backspacer which always bothered me and then last year it's a while back I won a giveaway I won one of the prizes in a giveaway from Andre Andre maintains a YouTube channel a German YouTube channel I will put a link in the description box Andrew Nolene I will put a link in the description box to his channel he doesn't do a lot of videos but if he does does a video uploads a video it most of the time has something to do with his handcraftsmanship he makes awesome stuff he can modify knives very nice he most of the time uses natural materials like wood and he made me this awesome dark brown backspacer and I think this will fit the knife way more I don't think the color will show, uh, show very good but it is a dark brown and it fits very well with the wooden scales of the Crooked River very nice Andre, thank you very much I'm very grateful that you wanted to do this backspacer in wood on the Crooked River I like it very much I guess it will it was a very long video I'm very sorry of that but I had a lot of content to cover I just wanted to tell you to note to schedule a date for next year in your diary Bladestock 2018 the European knife and gear gathering in the Netherlands in the open air midsummer gathering it will be Saturday June the 30th and Sunday July the 1st so note that date in your schedule that's it for now bye bye